Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for the support on the other video we did. This one, we're gonna be going over our engagement. Pretty big deal. So, we're young. I'm only 23, and you're only 21. 21. And you're engaged to like- I was 20. You were 20 and I was- 22. I was 22. Pretty young, but we're gonna go over why we even thought of it being so young. And we're just gonna start off with the first kind of question, why it was on our mind so early. About a year ago, I'm still in the Army Reserves as of now, and about a year ago, I was told that I was gonna be deploying. And I was in the middle of nursing school. You and I were dating for a year, year and a half. Year and a half, yeah. Year and a half. They called me up and they said, you know, you're deploying. So I did all the pre-deployment practices. The longest one was three weeks. That was in Georgia? Georgia. Yeah, three weeks in Georgia. I ended up getting excused from the deployment about three weeks before I was supposed to leave. So, I mean, I had everything done. I had all the vaccinations, everything. And about three weeks before I was supposed to deploy, they told me that, you know, I was off the list and just be on call. So even as of now, I'm just on call just in case I need to go over. That's the whole reason why it sparked even getting married or engaged because, you know, it really wasn't on our mind hardcore like that. We knew it was going to happen, but it never was like a thing that we thought of. That was going to be so soon. But leading up to that, we were both just thinking about it all the time. We finally, well, I'm up for it if you want to. So <laughs> we went to that and then... We started doing ring shopping. We were ring shopping. How many places did we go? A few. I think we really only went to a K's and a Zales, but we went to different locations of K's and Zales. My number one place was K's. My mom got her ring there. So asking your dad, this is so embarrassing, because now your Adam's coming up. So I ended up asking her dad about marrying you at her little brother's birthday party at a water park. It was hot outside and we ended up going up. So it was like these long staircases you had to go up being in a water park. And I was with her dad. So halfway back on the ride, I asked him, I'm like, I need to talk to you, sir, real quick. <laughs> real quick. And I, I was 22. Okay, I'm in school full time. He kind of knew I was off the deployment list, but I told him, I'm like, look, I'll take care of you. I'm like, I might not have a full time job now, but I will. Yeah. It was so awkward because all these kids were around. And he was like, <laughs> he said, Are you sure you want to marry her? He was like, You're, she's nuts. I'm like, Oh, I know. So he said yes. <laughs> and then we go back to si sitting next to you, and I'm just looking at her. And you knew. Oh, you knew I, I knew. Yeah, you knew. I knew. He seemed so nervous that whole day. I was like, I was. I wasn't sure. You're a germaphobe, so I wasn't sure if you were like nervous to go to a water park or. But yeah. I knew. My dad was just like. He was my like dad, saying it. Well, like my dad has no poker face at all, and he was like basically telling people that Zach had asked him to marry me. Pretty much at your little brother's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Not the best looking back. It was it was genuine. Then I made the plans on where I'm going to engage you at, and As, pop the question, pop the question. We ended up going to Kentucky. That's where I'm originally from, and the first time that we like got really close was in Kentucky. We didn't know each other at all. Our first trip to Kentucky, we've been dating for two months, if that. Probably um, a month. Yeah, it wasn't very long at all. It was our spring break in college, and um, I had never been anywhere with anybody other than my family, and I have never traveled further than, like, the very first town yeah. in South Carolina. Like, I'd never been far at all. We'd been dating for just a little bit, and he was like, do you want to come with me to Kentucky to go see my sister and her family? And obviously, I said yes, because we went. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. The night, be, the night before, we were both like, maybe we shouldn't. We didn't yeah. tell each other, but we were both think, like, we looked back and we were both at the same, like, maybe we shouldn't do this. Like, I don't even know you. Yeah. You know? It was really. And the whole car ride there, she was, she was asleep. So I'm looking over. What driving. were you going to say before sleep? She was. No. <laughs> you know what? You said she was. F and then you said F. For sleep. For sleep. For sleep. <laughs> but she was sleeping. And I'm here driving to Kentucky 12 hours away. And I'm looking over. I'm just like, who is who is she? <laughs> I'm like, we're about to spend a week together. Like, this is, it was weird. Yeah, it was. But it ended up being, you know. It ended really up good. being, like, the best thing for our relationship. I don't know if we would have lasted if we hadn't gone. Yeah. Really. That was just our path. We were very awkward with each other for a long time. 
Yep. She cost me a lot of money on that trip. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to impress you because you were, you know, my new girlfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I can't have another one ever again. Nope. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a video for you all. This is the actual engagement. So this is my mom or dad recording us. Right underneath the tree that you guys see is where I proposed to her. And she didn't want to come out with me at this point because I tried to tell her, oh, let's go by the tree. She's like, no, no. I'm like, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I was so scared. I had the ring in my back pocket. I'm like, please just come down to the tree. It was only 100 feet. What were you going to do if I didn't? I don't know. <laughs> I was nervous that whole day. I was sweating. But we go down the tree. I propose. I ended up throwing the box behind me for some reason. <laughs> he was nervous. He was put the nervous. ring on my finger. And he then took threw the ring. The box. Yeah, he took the ring out of the box and threw the box behind him, put the ring on me, and then after the fact I was like, Well, I kind of want the box, so if we could <laughs> keep the box, that would be really nice. Yeah. I knew I was going to say yes, but I felt bad for you because I was like, he's probably so nervous. <laughs> this next video is right after. After that walk up, this is this video. Look how bad she is shaking. This isn't fake. Oh my God. This is like 10 minutes after. <laughs> you were shaking so bad. Oh, you forgot to tell. After, after I put the ring on her, okay, she ended up... <laughs> I don't know what you're about to say. I'm really scared. She ended up getting this huge muscle spasm in your chest. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Yes. So I was so nervous. Like my Gosh. whole body was like shaking my muscle. Like I was just so nervous. It was a big moment. I knew he was doing it by the time we went out there. My shoulder, like my trap. Yep. Literally cramped up so bad, like stopped me in my tracks, and I was, oh my gosh, my shoulder, <laughs> something's wrong with my shoulder. I don't know. You what having I a heart did. attack? It was like pure adrenaline. So I was like, what if I hurt my shoulder? And I didn't even know. Like, I think we hugged, and I was like, you're like, ah. I like stood still. And my shoulder. No, no, no. Hurt so it was bad. so bad. Her trap was so bad. She ended up going like this, and she uh, was like that for like ten uh, seconds after we were engaged. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole rest of the day, she was massaging because yeah. it hurt so bad. Yeah, it was. It hurts so bad. That was funny. After the engagement, we ended up going to Texas Roadhouse, mm. which if I would have thought of this sooner, I wouldn't have done such an expensive restaurant because now we have to go there every year on the date that we got engaged. Do you even know what the day was? June 12th. <laughs> No. <laughs> June 21st. No, that's not even close. That's not even the right month. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. July 4th. No. July 10th. No. July 12th. No. July 21st. No. It was July 28th. Oh. <laughs> you were way off. The first one you say for is June 12th. That's I think it's, yeah. And we you went got to Texas else? Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. And I had a six ounce sirloin with mashed potatoes and... How do you know this? I think I had fries or green beans. One of the two. But Texas Roadhouse mashed potatoes are nasty. They keep the skin in the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. That's just gross. And I had to have had like 50 rolls. I think that's the first time I ever had Texas Roadhouse. I just remember like every time I went to pick up my fork, I left my hand on the table so that I could see my <laughs> ring like flat on the table. Yeah. And I sat and ate like nobody else was sitting there but me and my ring. Like that's it. My I ring. had the T-bone. No, you had the... The big, the biggest steak the they had. the 16 ounce or something. No, I thought it was a 21 ounce T-bone. Yeah. Whatever steak is the biggest on Texas Roadhouse, I ate it, and it was so good. So now every year I have to eat the same thing. Now we're planning a wedding. We have a date. Yeah. So should we tell them the date? Next video. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Put in the comments what other videos you want us to go over. That's, it's kind of hard thinking of stuff. I mean, we have a lot of stuff right now, but we're new doing this. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have any questions or topics, relationship topics, I think we're a pretty good couple. Yeah. For being so young. Yeah, we have experience, so if you have questions. Military questions, we got you. We are both full-time college students. Yeah. Thank you all for watching this video once again. See you all in the next one. Does the beat take you over? You just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones?